And we're back with preseason two of the CWSFL season nine. We got the Egypt Pharaohs hosting the Sao Paulo Pumas. Uh, Pumas took a, a tough loss last week um, to the to the Pegasi. It was a good game, came down to the end, uh, but couldn't couldn't pull it out. Pharaohs though uh, dominated the Lancers, got a W in that one. So they're going to be able to go 2-0 here in the preseason. Well, we got our man Micah Pope here, former running back, legendary running back in the CWSFL. Uh, he thinks the Pumas are going to be able to get this one done here in the preseason, but who knows, it's going to be a tough one. I think it should be a good game. Uh, both teams are looking like uh, they're full strength, got their rookies in here ready to go. Uh, so you know what that means. Sh should be a good one, but let's get down to the field. And see what we got here. True. Didn't, didn't like the Texans go like undefeated in their preseason games? Yeah, or the Ravens or something, I think. Somebody One is. One of them expansion teams. Maybe, maybe that could happen to the Pumas. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, obviously they won't be undefeated, yeah. but. No, nah, but, you know, maybe maybe they can get a good win here on uh, this last preseason game, push them uh, forward in the in the regular season. As you see, man, it's the Pharaohs, Pumas. Uh, it's a preseason game, man. It's a late night game here. Um, it's really late, so there's not a lot of not a lot of fans here in the stand. Nope. That's right. The ones that are here, though, they're gonna get a good game. Tyler Hellman, the rookie, one yard run gets gets it to a second and nine. The Pumas, they played not the Pumas, the Pharaohs. They played in a really interesting. Uh, late night after dark game last season against the Lancers. It was really good game. It came down to the wire. Maybe this one can do the same. Yeah, even the Pharaohs, it, even it Pharaohs tend to show up very well in these late night games. Um, I think it's kind of when the team performs best. Wow. Hellman getting games. Hellman Showing is... the South American swagger. <laughs> Hey, uh, Hellman is definitely a dog. F slipped into the draft into the later rounds. I think he was a, a third round pick. Uh, should not have fallen that far, uh, far down, but he did. Almost was what we have Dev League MVP. Silent King. Ooh, really good. Silent King, the quarterback of the Pumas, trying to they're trying to seemingly the Pumas are trying to make a Juan Freesmith 2.0. Uh oh, Tyler Hellman. Yeah, um, uh, they got they got Silent King back there. Like I said on draft night, and I'm probably gonna say it multiple times this season. That dude can do a little bit of everything on the offense, so it's great to see that he's their quarterback of the future. This man is having no, a day, cooking up. They're just getting the right plays with the linemen on the right blocks by uh, Juan Rios down there, the rookie lineman, and. It's pushing them down the field. Rare stop on the drive for the Pharaohs. Hellman only picking up a yard. I'm trying to look like a Micah Pope out there. Maybe. Ah. Almost. Almost a touchdown. First of the game. It's going to be a mean. third down, though. Third and nine. This place is electric. Third down's always so challenging. Here in Cairo, the run Hellman. Look at that! Oh, is the end? Almost a touchdown. Ah, uh, 18 yards. 18 though. yard game. Not gonna give it to him. This man is dominating the first quarter. Silent King, do they go with QB draw a screen? That's no good. CJ Jones with the deflection. They've had 10 plays, 74 yards on this drive. Ooh, and they cannot get into the end zone there. McBot coming up big. Very big. I didn't see who got boosted for um the Lancers. Or not the Lancers, so the, the Pumas. Uh, touchdown Hellman on a three-yard run right up the gut. Way to cap off a drive that was all Hellman on this one. And now he's got the Pumas on the board first in this game. Uh, kicker comes out, gives him a 7-0 lead with a minute 0-2 here in the first quarter. A three-minute 
almost four minute. Uh, no, no, that was about a three minute drive because preseason is only four minute quarters. But the boosted right. players were for the Pumas was I believe it was only one guy and I think it was Damian Chambers. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, it Chambers. was two McBots and a, and a, and one one player I believe. So I think it was Chambers. See TBJ's first drive offensively had a really solid season last year, and he continues that up with a first down, first preseason in the second preseason game. First drive of the second preseason. TBJ drops back. Throws a dime to bait to Blakely. He scores. Wow. Trish. Look at that. 63 Blakely. yards. Down the sideline, too. What a catch. What a play. What a run. Pharaohs are back in this thing quick. I'm Brady Jr. Showing he's got something to prove. It's yeah, twerky. Runs it out. Only gets 29 on the return. A really solid return. Starting them, starting them on the 34-yard line. Yeah, this is great to see so far. Seven to seven, uh, probably the last play or two here to end the first quarter. Uh, we got a great game right now. Very amazing game. Hellman was able to get two yards, and they're gonna Pumas are gonna run one more play before we go in the second quarter. Tyler Hellman only gets four yards, but it sets up a third and four, so it's a solid game. Start of the second quarter. Now we welcome you back here into the booth. Pumas have the ball. They're dropping back. Oh, what that a throw. Was oh. That was an incompletion. Hate to see it. And the punt. Didn't go too far. Paris Johnson is not, is not able to get off a return. And the Pharaohs are coming out for their next drive. EBJ finds Mo Lester, and Lester's only going to get 13 yards, but it's first down. Yards, Damian Paris Johnson. Ooh, Paris Johnson picking up another first down. Paris has been moving the ball really well. To start off the game. They throw another one. Blakely, Jay Sean Blakely, 33 yards. 36, I'm sorry, it's his second biggest gain of the day. Wow. Damian Chambers. Coming up with the stop. Is it Tom Brady Jr.? He drops back. He gets sacked. Strip sack. Nate Ironsides. He's moving. The big fella is moving. He's going. What a play. Wow. <laughs> Man. Incredible. Really exciting to see for these Pumas. Ooh, that was a Pumas big stop. Pumas get only five yards. That was exactly what they needed to turn over. They forced it, and now look. Chance to take the lead before the half. And Pumas give Helman the ball. The outside zone. Dang, the rock outside solid. Run. Picks up a first down. Rock oh, solid it's it's is... Really making these uh, these chase down runs, or Tyler Hellman would probably have about another touchdown or two here in this one. But it isn't enough to stop him from getting over 100 yards in the first half. That blows my mind. First half alone, Tyler Hellman, man, have yourself a day. You know, and there's rumor ha uh, going around that the Pumas, uh, their their second round selection, the Zaire Zaire Johnson. 
Uh, yeah. Touchdown, Tyler Hellman, 16 yards on the He's outside. The day. Wow. Have yourself a day. Pumas take the lead with a minute of six left to go. It looks like it's going to be 14 to seven here. But yeah, their second round selection, uh, Zaire Johnson is looking like he's going to uh, possibly uh, moving into the regular season, playing more uh, defensive back. It was brought Ooh. in maybe as a, a, a defensive end, a very athletic defensive end, and now he might be playing um, DB for them moving forward. I see. So they've been moving him around in practice and trying to get him acclimated to the new position. Yeah. I think that worked out really well for him. Yeah, trying to see what see where where they can really use him best and where he can uh, benefit the most, and it looks like it's probably going to be defensive back. It's the fair is coming out. It's nice uh, that they let him have a little bit of time too at, at D line in these preseason games in case he decided to uh, to keep it. That was a good decision on the Pumas part. Yeah, great management uh, right there. Oh, showing you why they joined our world class league. Fourth down, and the Pharaohs are going to punt. Uh oh, good return here. Could set them up for. Oh, no, he ain't. No, he ain't. No, he didn't. The touchdown. Dingleberry. Wow. The Pharaohs fans are quiet. All 20 of them. 21 to 7. Boom, let's take the, uh, the lead even bigger now. Uh, by two scores here with nine seconds left to go before the half. I believe the Pharaohs start off with the ball to start the third quarter. So this is just. If you thought this place was quiet now before, it is just. Oh. Um... Goodness. So silent. Wow. What a way to end the first half. Yeah, that was an incredible uh incredible performance by the, the Pumas, man. What a second quarter. What a last two minutes of the second quarter. Uh really, really swing uh swinged it there right there with a the defensive stop. Got the turnover. I mean punt return. <laughs> Dang. 21-7, to seven, though. Pumas have the lead here on the road. Hey, Sean Blakely and Tyler Hellman. It's been a really offensive duel for those two guys, but they've been cooking. They yeah, have They've been cooking with gas. And maybe I think these teams are going to start letting them cook with some electricity. Let them cook with something because, man, this is an insane game right now. Uh, but we got eight minutes left to go here in this one. Pharaohs are down 14, so they're going to need to get something cooking on offense. Could this be a prove-it year for Tom Brady Jr. as he's on a contract season? If he can't show the improvement, if he can't get the offense there, even with the expanding of the 16 playoffs, if they can't be one of those six, do you think he returns? I don't think so. I think this is Tom Brady's legacy season. This could possibly spell retirement for the for the Ferris quarterback. Could uh could be a uh, a tough tough future for him if he can't find a way to figure it out here. I do think he would have a bright future on maybe one of these expansion teams with, on one of these new expansion teams, but not for a long time. Look at that though. He said, "Hey, man, quit talking about me. Uh, me not not making it work." Because he just completed a 61-yard pass to Damian Paris Johnson, his favorite target on the team. And then he goes and does that uh, pass for no gain. He underthrew him so bad, <laughs> Damian Paris. Really nice yeah, Damian Paris Johnson, I think, just dove uh, five yards back. I'm trying to make that catch. But there it is. Touchdown. Fourteen uh yards over the middle for Damian Paris Johnson. The Pharaohs are closing the gap. Gonna make it a seven point uh deficit now. 21-14. 2.50 left to go in the third quarter. They gotta find a way to get a stop. Do they get it here? I 
That's good. They contain Dingleberry. Only 22 yards on the return. Wow. Only gets the ball. He goes nowhere. Then have a whole lot of, lot of opportunity there. Extra magic no, he comes didn't. up with the stop. Former, um, I believe, a uh, former former Pegasi. Was he also like on the Dragons at one point? I don't know. I forget. I believe so. A journeyman in the oh, CBS NFL. Oh, could be the stop the Pharaohs need. Now we have an LT if the Pharaohs offense can Barker come back. With the opportunity to tie things up. See what they can do. He's got options. And it's Jay Sean Blakely. One of the bright young receivers here in the CWSFL. Bigging up the phone when his name is yeah. called upon. Touchdown. My pass. Touchdown. DPJ. And they have a chance to tie it up. He now has two touchdowns in back-to-back -to -back preseason games. And look at that. It's all tied up. 40 seconds left to go. It's worky. Gets 19. 33 seconds for the Pumas to go out and try to make something happen before the end of the third quarter. See what they do. Silent King drops back. He completes a pass. Uh oh. Oh, Smith. Only going to pick up six. Goes the second and four. There's. 22 yards to Dingleberry. Uh oh, Smith Smith. Former Hellhound. Ooh. Uh-oh, first down, Tyler oh, Hellman. Man. man to admit the legend. 129 yards so far in the day. Slowly, Can he get 150? Slowly making a name for himself in this league. Tyler Hellman gets stopped. Only a one-yard run. And Tyler Homan can't pick up more than a yard. Third and eight. Big third down here. So, I'm going to pick up three. Fourth and six. Will they be aggressive? Will they just kick a field goal? Let's see. Their offense is staying out there. They call uh -oh. a screen. Smith, Smith. He's moving. Touchdown. That's a touchdown. There it is. Smith Smith, 31 yards. Ready, 
puts all the pressure on the Pharaohs. Wow. 239 left to go in the fourth quarter. One score game. This is where we talked about those Tom Brady legacy moments. Even though it's preseason, this could be one of them. This is his chance. Drops back. Ooh, what a catch. Fine. It's a first down. Jason Blakely, 167 receiving yards on the day for only one touchdown. I feel like that's a criminal amount of touchdowns for having that many receiving yards. At least he did find the end zone. Oh, it evaded the sack. The big fella is moving. Second in inches. Almost got the first. Wow. Not known for his scrambling ability, but when he needs to, Tom Brady was busting a move. Ooh. It's deflected, so it's third down. Third and inches, you think he just got to get a first down there. Instead, they try to throw it deep. That's going to be. Do they expect to see a run? No, we don't. They pair it once tonight. That's. No Touchdown. way! Jason 15 Blakely. yards! Over 200 now, two touchdowns, and you were just talking about the criminal amount of touchdowns he has. You able to get that second one? Have the Pharaohs ran the ball at all today? Don't think so. Pharaohs picked up rookie kicker Eugene Harrison. He Sends the ball deep to Twerky, and Twerky makes a magic ha magic happen. Gets 25 yards on the return. Tyler Hellman. Um, picks up nine. Could must call a timeout. And Tyler Hellman, running through a stack, of people get six yards. He's only four yards away from 150 fresh yards on the game. Hellman gets another run, a 10 yard pickup, puts him over 150 on the game. Minute 59, Pharaoh's timeout. Tyler Hellman is being a bruising running big, trying to set his kicker up in the best position possible. Tyler Hellman picks up 12 yards. He's not going down. All they need is field goal range. This game is over when he says so, folks, not the clock. Pumas drop back. Oh. It's a catch. 14 yards for Dingleberry. It's another catch for, Ding for Dingleberry. 37 seconds. Oh, oh. So many times. The deflection. It's now third down for the Pumas. The drop back. Touchdown! Okay, Smith Smith. Two big touchdowns when the team needed it most. Silent King. Showing that maybe he can be the next Jaquan Freesmith in the league. Unreal performance. With eight seconds left, the Pumas' silent king comes up with a touchdown to take it a 35-28 to lead. And that's, that's got to be the game right there. There's no way unless he returns this. Well, we got one second, so...
one second. I don't think it could happen, but does Tom Brady Jr. throw a, t- a miraculous touchdown pass? No. Incredible. It's over. The Pumas take the dog. That's how you go in the regular season play with a win. And just like that, Tyler Hellman is your player of the game. 26 rushing uh, rushes for 174 yards, two touchdowns. Man, he was all over it in the first half. Didn't really get a whole lot of action in that second half as uh, it was mostly a Pharaoh's comeback, but he did lead the way at the end of the drive. Him and Silent King to uh, led them all the way down to a touchdown to take the lead, 35-28. Gets them the that win over the Pharaohs. All right, Silent King, 8 for 13, 90 yards, two touchdowns, that game-winning pass. Uh, Ningleberry, 4 for 44. Smith Smith, 4 for 46, two touchdowns. I know what Hellman did. He was your player of the game. Defensively, uh, Travis Hunter, three deflections, three tackles. Chambers had two deflections. Uh, Sack for Zaire Johnson. Ningleberry had that punt return. Um, Tom Brady Jr., 13 for 20, four touchdowns. Uh, Ding, or Damian Paris Johnson, 6 for 104, two touchdowns. Blakely, 6 for 217, two touchdowns. Lester, 1 for 13. Not not a single attempt for Herb Collins after a 200 plus game last week. Uh, defensively, Jay Ruga had five tackles. Uh, CJ Jones had six tackles and a deflection in his debut. Um, Rock Silent had seven tackles. Not enough, though, to pull out the win here in this one as the uh, Pumas. Take the win on the road here, 35-28 to 28 over the Pharaohs, man. This was a lot of fun. Michael Pope, you were correct on your prediction that the Pumas were going to get the dub. Just what a somewhat game. of a shock, man, but let's hope the Pumas can continue rolling as an expansion team. Yeah, what a game. The last what time a... we had two, exp- two expansions. Really good. They met in the, met in the Gold Bowl. But this one was a lot of fun. We appreciate all y'all watching. Uh, this is a great, uh, great Saturday of the second week of preseason, and we got the regular season starting on Wednesday. So we'll see y'all then.